The dish we're cooking today is going to be a butterfly sea bass with uh, marinated or stuffed with the soft herbs such as tarragon, you know, things goes with the sea bass and then we put some lemon zest, little seasoning inside and then we wrap it in a fado brick. Fado brick which is uh, some uh, kind of, of a Moroccan uh, uh, pillow pastry but it's much thinner, crispier and then we wrap it inside we brush it with the clarified butter and we bake it for a 15-20 uh, minute and then we serve it with the check cheese and tomato sauce as the starter we're going to have a uh, hummus uh, liver pate with a uh, cranberry sauce and a crouton in the beginning it wasn't uh, much choices because I couldn't speak the language very well so uh, kitchen porter was the easiest uh, a way to uh, make a little bit of money you know to survive and then when I start working as a kitchen porter I start to uh, open my eyes in a kitchen and I see the chefs how they work and all that and I thought okay this is uh, what I want to do and I start to enjoy it and I start to be passionate about it so this is a, um, a chicken liver hummus okay we cook it with onions and orange okay sweat down onions and orange as well okay and then when it gets smoother we pass it through the machine and then we make uh, we season it and then we serve it with homemade croutons and this is a cranberry uh, chutney or cranberry um, sauce to go with it this is where what you get with the turkey in Christmas okay and it is a way of life I can't see uh, myself doing anything else except cooking you know, I don't know to I don't know how to do anything else. So we put it one dollop in the middle to, to cut down that richness of liver and hummus. Okay. So now we need to finish it with a garnish. We take some uh, watercress shoots and then we garnish it. I like watercress; it's peppery and it works with most of the meat or fish so we add on a bit of uh, radish for that earthy flavor and this is my uh, starter is the chicken liver hummus with cranberry chutney and homemade crouton every chef has a lot of pressure i would lie to you if i don't tell you um, i don't have a uh, pressure you will learn uh, over all these years you learn how to, uh, to 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 live with it and how to absorb it you know and how to uh, uh, there is a rewarding pressure, you know, when you put pressure on yourself and you put pressure on your stuff and you get something out of it, that's the best thing. Okay, we take one plate of brick, we brush it with butter. This is a stuck sea bass. It has a soft herbs inside, tarragon parsley, lemon zest, okay, seasoning, and then we wrap it up. Just leave the tail out nice and tight. We get one battered tray and we put our fish in there. A bit more butter on top. We bake it in the oven 200 degrees for about 15 minutes until it's golden, nice and cooked through inside. Okay, for the garnish, we're gonna serve some. Uh, chickpeas and tomato uh, we leave the chickpeas with a little bite no you don't overcook it too much so at least you have that um, bite to it okay and then we season it with coriander cumin all so let me check my uh, fish now it starts to get golden and crispy Okay, I turn it around so you can get it even cooking. Okay, and I put it there. This is not not a quick dish to do. You know, it takes a little bit of time. And then this is not one of those dish that you can make ahead and uh, put it in the fridge and reheat it. We don't do this in Mamunia. We tend to uh, cook everything fresh and everything a la minute, uh, except the dishes where they need to be cooked in advance, such as shoulder of lamb for example now the trick is with all these parcels and all this kind of uh, 
cooking, you need to uh, really... That's 42, so we're a little bit far of um, um, the temperature it's supposed to serve it. Okay, so we now, we now we have to put it back for another uh, five minutes or so until it's ready, okay? This is golden and crispy. Now it's ready to go. My mission for, for the future is to carry on cooking, but the, uh, you know, probably a higher level for you know better environment. You know, I want to be in the TV as well. Yeah, doing uh, bits and pieces. Yeah, and just to make sure it's cooked uh, thoroughly inside. Okay. You should be able to smell. The soft herbs, tarragon. And we got, again, we garnish it with some coriander. We just put it a little brush. This is the stuffed sea bass uh, with uh, chickpeas, tomatoes, and coriander. 